What's up guys, this is Airsoft Child, and today we're going to take a look at my new gun, which is the Umarex UMP45. So if we take a look at our box, it's quite compact and it comes with all the Heckler & Koch trades, so H and K, Heckler & Koch. Um, it's just pretty simple, there are no real images of the gun on here, apart from on the side, which, you know, specifies that this is the two-tone version. So we'll take a look in the box. So. You're going to want to lift up two of these cardboard latches at the front, your flap, and lift that up, and there you have it. So, let's have a look what's in the box. We've got my sort of receipt. We have a little instruction manual, which is pretty good. Gives you some stats on the back right there. And it basically talks you through the operation of the gun, the do's and don'ts. So it's quite comprehensive, I quite like it. So you've got all your fire selector safe. And now I did buy this as broken, which means it was a display item or it's been used for parts or it has been returned as broken to the online retailer. So I got this for 39.99 with around seven pounds postage. And the only thing I can see wrong with it is that it doesn't have the battery cover to the rear. It came with a magazine, but no battery or charger. So, once you take a look at the gun, my first instinct was that this is very, very heavy. Seriously, it's like, I think two kilograms. And, you know, I only really have budget airsoft guns, so this is pretty beastly, pretty new to me. It comes with a 500 round high cap magazine. You wind it to the bottom, and it's got its little window at the side where you can see you know, the imitation 45 caliber rounds. And you can see on the side where it says 45 auto. So this would be a UMP 45. To take a look at the gun. You know, it's got all its H and K trades. It'll say H and K UMP on the side. It does have a serial number and it says six millimeter BB. Um, you know, you've got a couple of warnings on there and you've got your fire selector. And that's pretty much all the images on the gun. You've got your folding stock. It snaps into place very, very securely. I can't stress that enough. You would think that there's wobble or something, but no, that is totally fine. You've got metal rails um, at the front hand guard and um, this monolithic rail at the top, sort of. You've got a metal fire selector. You've got a metal trigger. You've got metal pins in the gun. And they are honestly the only metal parts. The rest of it is this very sturdy, ABS polymer. Um, you can see seams all the way down the gun, but this is molded together. Um, it's not actually screwed together side by side like you would on a cheaper gun. So um, you have, oh, you have a metal ejection cover as well, a dust cover. Forgot to mention that. And that is where your hop up unit is found. It's a barrel type hop up unit. So I can't stress enough how similar this is to the T36 I have, <clears throat> or well, the design in general. Um, from, you know, a visual perspective, mechanically they're very, very different. But you've got a very similar folding stock, very similar rear and front sight. You've got the same front sling mount, same rear sling mount. You've got the same sort of release. You've got the same um, three front rails in the exact same positions. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just aesthetically and it feels very similar as well to me. So I'll show you a couple of little features. If you take down the pin right here, you actually give yourself access to the lower receiver and the upper receiver on its own. So you can see here, this is a full metal version two gearbox. So your magazine well, your air nozzle, and in here you have access to your barrel. Um, and there are upgrade kits for this gun in which you can attach a metal barrel and a suppressor. So I think we might have to look into that in the future. And to put it together, you honestly simply just reverse that process, pop your pin back in. Already stated before, you can access your hop up through here. Or you can do it as I just did by opening up the gun, but it's just easier to do it through the side. Your cocking handle 
doesn't move whatsoever. We'll just have a quick look at these sights. So you've got your rear ghost ring and your front sort of hooded sight. The rear ghost ring is actually adjustable for windage and elevation, where the front sight is totally fixed in there with the pin. But that's no issue. It's a very, very, very good CQB gun. If you're a starting airsofter or even intermediate, advanced, this is going to suit you very well. Out of the box, this is shooting at what? I think the website claimed about 200, no, 320 FPS plus with a 0.20 gram BB. Some sites claim up to 350, but I'm not too sure about that claim. I would say around, you know, 320. It does also have a quick spring change system in the back. You can see just on the rear of the gearbox, there's a, there's a screw. And that, um, if you release it, allows your spring um, to be removed from the gun. So if you're at a CQB site and it requires less than 300 FPS, you could just easily change out your spring very, very, very quickly, very efficient. Very heavy gun, ergonomically fantastic. You've got your um, selector here, so it's set, uh, safe, semi, and full. I've had a bit of a chance to shoot this now, so I kind of got a feel for, you know, how it performs. And honestly, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. It runs a uh, 8.4 volt battery. I've sort of uh, put one together very quickly out of a bunch of double A's, which is not the best way of doing things, but I had a new gun and no battery. So to install your battery, you would pour down your battery cover, but since I don't have one, I don't have to. You're gonna shove your battery in there. You're gonna put your mini connectors together. I'm gonna fit all these wires inside and just close everything back up. So we'll give you a feel for the uh, semi-auto fire. So if you can just hear the trigger response of this thing, that's pretty quick and we'll go full auto. And that is with an 8.4 volt battery. People do recommend a 9.6 volt, so that's gonna have a brilliant rate of fire. Perfect for any CQB mid-door, outrange, or mid-range outdoor event. You're gonna have no problems with this gun. I definitely recommend it. Can't stress that enough. Very impressed with this Umerx gun. I think it's uh, manufactured by Ares, A-R-E-S. So in the next few days, I'm gonna be doing an outdoor shooting review once the weather gets a bit better, and I do need some BBs. So that usually helps if you need to do a shooting review. Well, if you have any questions about this gun, guys, don't hesitate to just comment because I'll get back to you straight away. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, just go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I've been Airsoft Child. Cheers.